class 9 today we are going to revise determinants okay so for determinants first of all let us revise what are determinants for example i have a pen this is the boy who is standing here what is there that determinants they are mainly used before the nouns okay for example i have a pen so this is what this is noun and it is used before the noun okay why it is used to define to elaborate the meaning of noun to add some extra information in of nouns okay so these are called as determinants so what are the different type of determinants now so let us write down first of all we have articles then uh possessive determiners demonstrative please come quantifiers interrogative as well as one more is there numeral determiners yes these are pronouns okay they are not in the category of determinants okay so so these are called as determinants okay so now in case of determinants first of all we will revise the articles okay so now articles you know that there are mainly three type of articles okay articles mainly they are used with singular countable nouns with which they are used they are used with singular countable nouns so there are three type of two type of articles first is the indefinite articles and the definite articles so which are the indefinite articles a and an they are called as indefinite and the is called as the definite article the is called as the definite article so why a or an is called as indefinite article because when they are used with singular countable nouns they are not referring to a particular thing person or place they are giving us an idea that it is a singular countable thing and in a generalized way okay for example i have a pen it means i have a pen but it is not mentioned here that which pen i have okay it me i i can have a red pen i can have a blue pen okay any type of pen i can have okay then afterwards and and what is the difference between two and is used with calls a e o and u it is used with vowels and a is used with consonant sounds it is used with consonant sounds it is used with so the is called as the definite article we will come to it later on let us revise first of all about uh, indefinite articles that is a or an okay so now a or n where they are used first of all as i told you that it is used with singular countable nouns okay so what other things or what other other things where it delivers its meaning okay for example uh, you can say it is also giving the uh, you can say it is also defining oneness okay that it is singular in quantity this we have done that it is one in quantity sometimes it also gives an idea of per okay that is one for example the milk is sold for for 25 rupees per liter okay or 25 rupees a liter a liter means per liter okay bananas are bought for 12 rupees a dozen it means that it gives the idea that it is that one dozen is is uh, bought for this much amount it means per okay okay then more over in case of exclamatory sentences also yes in case of exclamatory sentences also what we use we use a or an 
what a beautiful scene okay what a wonderful sight okay there also we are using article a or n these are the main uses of these articles now coming up to the use of the where do the is used for example this is the boy whom i was calling yes when we are referring to a specific thing okay the pen lying on the table is mine okay which pen i am referring i am not referring to any pen i am referring to that particular pen which is lying on the table okay so in this manner it is referring to a particular thing now the thing is that where it is used first of all it is also used with superlative degrees where it is used how superlative degrees for example the he is the best student in the class he has won the best student of the year trophy okay uh, she is the okay she is he is the most popular boy in the school okay this is the most impressive form of work uh, represented by him she is the best dancer of the school okay whenever we are talking about superlative degrees then what is there we use article the then before proper noun no names of monument this we will come so many categories are there but before that when we are referring to a class in general okay in general for example the poor the rich okay the poor the rich ha huh? huh? this is used for with common noun okay for example when it is also used with common noun but when it is used with common noun it is used with common noun when it is representing complete class when it is representing complete class when it is representing complete class okay for example the dog is a faithful animal the camel is the ship of the desert okay so in this manner it can be used here right then when we have to make double comparisons double comparisons then also we are using the for example the more you work hard the more you will you the more you will be successful the more you put in your hard labor the more you will get the reward here i am doing double comparisons okay so there also the is used then it is also used with surnames for example the sharmas the guptas okay right it is also used with names of monuments name of monuments yes the kutub minar the red fort and with name of countries which are formulated from group of states okay names of countries okay it is used with names of countries but which names of countries united states the united uh, arab emirates anything can be there right so there it can be used apart from this it has many other uses with the names of books with the names of newspapers okay it is used with names of books okay the experiments with truth okay um then afterwards with names of newspapers also the tribune the hindustan times with the names of oceans the arabian sea okay with mountain ranges okay then it is also used with uh, objects which are one of a kind one of a kind for example which are one of a kind for example the earth the sun the moon objects of universe huh? names of for example okay right okay so then also there it is used and more over one more use of this is there that it is also used with it is also used with proper noun 
when proper noun is used as common noun when proper noun is used as common noun when proper noun is used as common noun then what is there we are also using the how for example kalidas is the shakespeare of indian of hindi literature okay so kalidas is proper noun i'm using the shakespeare it means it is referring to as all class of writers so there also it can be used right okay so it can be used here so now revised all this okay that what are what is the difference between a and and the next afterwards we are going to start with the next category of determiners that is okay let us do demonstration okay demonstrative determiners so demonstrative determiners this for nearby things this and these for far objects that and those okay next we are having possessive determiners huh my speak again my yes my are my are his her their your okay but when you speak my and mine ours his hers theirs these are not or yours these are not possessive determiners they are possessive pronouns they are possessive pronouns okay for example this is my pen this is our house this is your car okay and this is their building okay so these are possessives but these are possessive pronouns okay possessive adjectives these are not pronouns possessive adjectives right okay so next category is of first of all we will do numeral numeral determiner yes they are of two type cardinals and ordinals cardinals for example 1 2 3 4 okay whatever okay but when it is representing the order first second first second third fourth and fifth okay last first then it is representing the order so they are called as ordinals so they are called as ordinals next last one numeral determiners these are of two types these are the definite ones when we know about the particular number but the other one are the indefinite indefinite numerals okay so indefinite when we are not sure about the number okay for example some some any few a few the few many much is with quantity okay for example some is used when they are less in number okay n is used with negative okay several is also there count tables they are mainly used with count tables okay so any with then it is mainly used in negative sense for example do you have any pen when we are expecting any negative response what is the difference between few a few and the few what is okay who will explain the difference between few a few and the few it is yes it is used in negative sense it is used in negative sense where you can say negligible amount is there for example there is uh, there are few students in the class mean negligible amount one or two for example out of 50 a few means somewhat positive 
the few students or oh, sorry a few students have agreed to submit their project on proper or on uh, you can say stipulated date it means that very less in number but whatever it is there it is considerable okay it is positive in sense and the few means all those small in number but they all what is the few all those small in number but they all for example the few students present in the class were were attentive or were submitting the projects right so and many you know that number men more than many okay no more than two or three several most of them okay several many of is for comparison use okay right next we are having quantifiers next we are having quantifiers naturally that uh, quantifiers they are used with uncountables quantity with quantity the quantity can never be countable one it will always be uncountable with these it can be used okay for example much little a little the little some can also be used here okay much huh any can also be used here i don't have any many right okay so much suppose much there is there is not much to speak about this okay not much is to be done in this case little again negative sense but it is used for quantity for example there is little milk we cannot use it for making the dish means negative sense a little there is a little milk in the jug that can be utilized in a better way okay that some okay but in positive sense and the little whatever the small amount is there that all small amount for example okay i spent the little money i had means whatever the small amount of money was with me all was spent okay so then some you know okay okay some banana then it is countable one it is then it is not quantified it is that numeral one okay so right and uh, last one interrogative determiners what are interrogative determiners used for asking question what for example mm -hmm. okay so that's all these are the basic rules of determiners now any doubt here till now for uh, relative relative pronouns that is part of pronouns it is not here used to be here okay pronouns otherwise i am telling which shows the relation of one noun to that of the other things in the sentence for example the boy who is standing in the class it means the boy and the class they are in relation with each other so which who is showing this relation which so this is relative pronoun okay so let me ask you some of the examples okay some of the questions give the answer waiting for dash bus is dash everyday experience is an everyday experience Mum, okay the common people travel by bus only because it is dash cheapest mode of transport because it is the cheapest mode of transport and people stand in dash queue for hours together for a bus for dash q in sorry people stand in dash q for dash for hours in a queue in a queue look at dash man wearing dash red shirt wearing a red shirt right and his father is dash engineer dash women in a blue sari is his wife his father is an engineer because he is a wall sound okay and that you know with mp sp we are not using uh, we are using an why we are using an sound it produces m m means em it's vowel sound that is in pronunciation which is used 
okay for example one rupee note its wall sound its wall first of all one o but what we are using we are using a why we are using a consonant sound is there right okay so yes i was talking about it was his father is an engineer dash women is his in blue sari is his wife that women or the women okay next there was dash accident near dash market this morning there was dash accident near the market this morning a car hit a bicycle and dash man on dash bicycle was killed mm -hmm. right a man on the bicycle was killed next one uh, there was a knock at the door when i opened dash door when i opened the door i saw dash strange i saw dash stranger a stranger with dash tool bag in his hand with a tool bag in his hand i didn't allow him to enter dash room as i had never seen him earlier in my room or in the room both are correct okay next dash educated person should know how to write a clear and readable letter an educated person okay next okay let us see sarla calls on me these are phrases leave it we will do this one she bought dash book and dash ink pot and an ink pot okay kanta is dash taller of them both taller is also taller always uh, sorry already is this comparative degree so sometimes article can be omitted also so there won't be use of any article here he narrated dash interesting story an interesting story all dash books were lying at sixes and sevens all the books means they were in haphazard manner okay next i am dash student of dash kurukshetra university of the kurukshetra university okay so with the name of university is also what we are using the dash farmers are plowing their fields she had dash umbrella in her hand this is dash useful book this is a useful book okay fill with determiners dash brother is very intelligent okay his dash grapes are sweet and juicy those grapes are sweet and juicy dash team could not score any goal this team the team this team is appropriate he has broken dash slate his ha huh, his or her slate both are correct the rays of the sun fall on dash flowers on on those flowers these flowers right would you like to have dash pen or dash this pen or that pen or that and this this and that next my father is a teacher and dash father is a doctor okay are there any girls in dash class in this class right next how dash money do you want how much money do you want okay my father or his father is a doctor both can be correct okay next uh, he asked me for dash money but i didn't have dash but i didn't have any but i didn't have any dash book you want is not with me is not with me dash more one has dash more one wants the more one wants i said na it is used with double comparisons this is the example of double comparison okay 
she is dash asian by birth not dash european not a european because when you speak european which sound is there it is which is a consonant this is the reason with european we are using a next how dash milk do you buy daily how much milk do you buy daily i have already spent dash few rupees i had i have already spent a few rupees i had the few can also be there he lay unconscious for dash r and dash half for an hour and a half okay okay dash is knocking at the main gate so this is an example of indefinite pronoun next there is dash no worry there is nothing to worry nothing is also indefinite pronoun next i have requested dash to help me i have request indefinite pronouns chalo afterwards we will do this okay actually these are the same as someone everyone nothing and all this these can be used now you can do okay let me ask something can also be there suppose can dash of you jump over the wall can anyone anyone is also in this category next dash should tell a lie no one or none should tell a lie next i have requested dash to help me someone there is dash wrong at the bottom something wrong or nothing wrong at the bottom right next is has dash dash of you seen the taj has dash of you seen the taj has anyone of you seen the taj dash offered a gift to the bride okay dash should serve the aged first parents everyone everyone should uh, should serve the aged parents dash has fallen into the well dash may happen at any time very good dash is possible without the will of god nothing is possible nothing is possible okay we should never abuse dash we should never abuse anyone negative anyone okay dash succeeds like success nothing succeeds like success have you dash to say in this matter anything dash dash poisoned her ears against her son someone or dash knows what may happen the next moment no one knows what may happen the next moment so with this we have revised the complete topic of determiners and in the next class we will start with the further revision okay so if you have any doubt now you can ask me